So we want to make each of our specimens as valuable as possible and we do that by taking as much data as we can for each bird that we prepare. And all of that information gets jotted down into our prep books. So you can see each section, you can get an idea of all the information that we're gathering from each bird. So the scientific name, the sex of the bird, we try to find out the age of the bird when it died, the collection date, and if somebody wrote their name down, that who salvaged the bird for us, that name goes on the tag with that bird. So if you bring in a bird and write your name down, you're the official collector of that bird. And then, of course, the, the obvious measurements. We weigh the bird. We measure its wing cord, which is the length from the elbow to the tip of the longest feather. And we measure the wing span. And then a lot of birds, you can't tell if it's male or female by looking at it. So you have to actually open the bird up and find its gonads. And we find their gonads and measure them. And then we describe any fat content, so what condition the bird was in. So a lot of the fall migrant birds have a lot of fat on them. They're preparing for the big trip down south. And uh, we jot if they're going through any molting process or if they're growing in any new feathers. And uh, we open up their stomachs to see what they were eating during, during their time before they died. And all of that information gets jotted down in this book. And this information gets transcribed onto the small specimen tags that gets attached to the bird and it stays with that bird forever. So this is the, the hub, the first point of all of the data that we collect for our bird.